Assalamu alaikum today we are going to study about the mandible the osteology of the mandible and we'll see what structures are present in the mandible so this is one of the favorite bones of the dental student and this will be needed this information or this knowledge will be needed by you throughout the final year and even after that so i hope this video will be helpful so the mandible or the lower jaw is the largest and the strongest bone of the face so you can see in this 3d animation so we divide the mandible into three parts we have a body which is in the center and then we have two rami or we can say we have a pair of rami so this is one rami and this is the other rami the body of the mandible is horseshoe shaped so you can see the horseshoe when i view it from above so you can see this is a horseshoe shape and it has two surfaces and two borders so it has an external surface which is this uh, surface which is visible now and we have the internal surface so this is the internal surface and we have two borders the upper border and the lower border so obviously the upper border is this which has the teeth and the lower border is here on the external surface you'll find something which is the symphysis menti which is a faint appearing line vertical line in the midline on the external surface and it marks the line of fusion between the two halves of the mandible and when it goes down it will expand into a triangular shape or triangle elevation which is termed as the mental protuberance the base of the elevation is limited on each side by mental tubercle so this is limited on each side by mental tubercle and on either side of the upper end of the protuberance below the incisor teeth there'll be something which is called as incisive fossa so you'll find something which is called the incisive fossa. I don't think it is very visible in this image. And a faint ridge or oblique ridge. You can see if I just cleared everything out. So here you can see a faint appearing line. Oblique ridge which extends obliquely from each of the mental tubercle. To the corresponding anterior border of the ramus of the mandible and it's also called as oblique line here you can find a foramen which is in the middle of the body above the oblique ridge vertically below the premolars so here we have our premolars and we have the mental foramen here and it transmits the mental nerves and vessels Let's come to the internal surface. So on the inner surface you'll find two tubercles which are called the genial tubercles or the mental spine. Here you cannot see it properly. So we have the superior genial tubercle and the inferior genial tubercle. So the superior one it gives attachment to the genoglossus muscle which is a muscle of tongue. And the inferior genial tubercle give attachment to the genio-hyoid muscle. Now if I tilt the mandible this way, you will find an oblique line on either side of the inner aspect which extends downward and forward from the lower margin of the posterior end of the third molar towards the symphysis menti. So that is the mylohyoid line. Let me try to show you. So this is the mylohyoid line. So it is clearly defined in the upper half and then it kind of fades away. And this line divides the inner surface into two parts, the upper part and the lower part. So the upper part presents with a triangular fossa which is seen in the anterior part which is called the sublingual fossa. So we have a sublingual fossa somewhere here. And it is related to the submandibular gland. Now the lower part presents with a gentle concavity which is known as the submandibular fossa. So somewhere here we have the submandibular fossa. So submandibular gland rests on this fossa and to be precise the lateral surface of the superficial part of the submandibular gland. And to be precise the lateral surface of the superficial part of the submandibular gland rests on this fossa. Lower end of the mylohyoid groove is seen behind the mylohyoid line at its posterior end somewhere here. 
and it contains the malahoid vessels and nerve now we'll talk about the borders so let me show you the borders we have two borders the upper border and the lower border so the upper border is also known as the alveolar border because it has the teeth obviously and we have eight teeth on each side of the midline and the lower border is also known as the base of the mandible and it extends posterior laterally from the center to the ramus of the mandible so it extends from here to the ramus of the mandible on each side of the midline you will find the digastric fossa for the digastric muscle let me try to show it here so here somewhere we'll have the come on here what are you doing so this is horrible all right so somewhere here we'll find the digastric fossa now let's talk about the ramus of the mandible so we have one ramus on each side so you can see the ramus here it is more or less quadrilateral plate of bone and presents with two surface and four border obviously if you can imagine it so if you can imagine a quadrilateral here so it has two surfaces and four border so this is border 1 2 3 and 4 and we have the two surface the external surface and then the internal surface so first we'll talk about the lateral surface which is overlapped by the parotid gland and then the medial surface so if i just show you the medial surface or the inner surface so here you find a foramen this is a very famous foramen and that is the mandibular foramen and it provides the passage for the inferior alveolar vessels and nerve a thin bony projection you will find here which is termed lingula which arises from the anterior medial margin of the foramen so um and obviously below the foramen a groove is seen extending downward and that is the malahoid groove okay and has the malahoid vessels and nerve now we'll talk about the borders so here we can see the borders we have the superior border so it is thin you can see it is very thin if Uh, we see it from above so this is a thin border with an anterior and posterior process so we have one anterior process and one posterior process and it is separated by something which is called the mandibular notch which is here and the mesenteric nerves and vessels will pass over this notch i don't have color options i would have shown you better hope you understood so we have the coronoid process here this is the coronoid process it is a triangular projection from the anterior end of the superior border and its anterior border is continuous with the anterior border of the ramus all right and the posterior border will continue posteriorly and we get the mandibular notch here then we have the condylar process it is an ex banded projection from the posterior superior aspect to the ramus of mandible and it has the head this is the head and it articulates with the mandibular fossa which is present in the temporal bone so if this is a temporal bone it will have a fossa here and this condylar head will go and fit into that and that will form the temporal mandibular joint the inferior border continues with the base of the mandible The posterior border is thick, rounded, and joins the inferior border at an angle. And we have a certain angle. We'll see what angle it is. 
the anterior border it continues superiorly and it joins the coronoid process now the angle of mandible so this is the angle of mandible and it is termed as gonion and measures 110 to 115 degrees in adults and in newborn and old people the angle is higher uh, up to 140 degree now let's talk about the mandibular canal a little bit so here we can see the mandible foramen and from here we have a mandibular canal this way which is inside and it's covered by bone it divides into mental and incisive canals okay between the first and second premolar so th if this is the premolar it will divide somewhere here into these two canals which is the mental and the incisive canal and it transmits the inferior alveolar vessels and nerve which supply the root to the teeth of the lower jaw so i hope this video was helpful in the next video we'll study all the attachments muscular attachments of the mandible if you like the video please don't forget to share the video subscribe like and join a whatsapp group we are on whatsapp now hope to see you soon allah face